G'day guys. This evening I'm drowning some Janjuk worms in the Campaspe River in a spot I've never bait fished before. With the hope to catch anything other than carp. There's plenty of carp around at the moment. I'd love to catch something different, but let's go find out what we get on the hook. Okay, both rods have a running sinker rig with Janjuk worms on the hook. I'm going to put the first one right out here because there is carp around. I may as well try and catch one while I'm waiting for something better to bite on rod number two. And rod number two is going out in the main part of the river in deeper water, just out there. Oh, well, baits are in, bells are on, waiting for something to happen. Something that I didn't consider is how far up from the water I am. I've got my landing net, but I don't know if I'll be able to reach it. <laughs> oh well. I'll worry about that if I hook a fish. There's a carp cruising along the surface. They're everywhere at the moment. Absolute plague of pests. That was a good bite. Oh, oh, okay. I've missed. <laughs> I nearly clocked myself in the head with the sinker at the same time. That was my first little nibble. I thought he was on there. Got him this time. <laughs> I was just resetting that after recasting it and I just lost my bell, but I've got ooh, a little carp. Oof, hold still, mate. There you go. He wouldn't even be 30 centimeters, but I'm on the board. Janjuk worms have paid off as usual. I'm going to put him out of his misery and chuck it back out there. Thanks for coming to play, mate. You little ripper. <laughs> I am not climbing down there to find those bells, I'll tell you that. <laughs> anyway, let's get this back out where it was, in that gap between the uh, reeds there, right in the middle, beautiful. You know, I actually had um, seven fishless trips before this one. <laughs> Over the course of the past two weeks, I have not been able to catch a fish. I've been able to hook about eight of them. All of them got off or snagged me. It's been a very frustrating fortnight, <laughs> to say the least. But I'm on the board today, even if it is just a scummy little carp. I'm very, very happy to be catching. Ooh, there was a big swell right above my bait, right there. Just turned my head to see it. He's still there. I'm hoping he finds the worm. He looks a bit bigger than the first one I caught. Oh, there's the first nibble. He is interested. Just got to wait for him to take it. Got him. No, he's not bigger. I think he might even be smaller. <laughs> or roughly the same size. I can actually, I've got the other one up the bank still. I can actually compare them. Ugh. But there we go, another little carp on the board. Still catching, which I'm very happy about. He's, I reckon he's a twin brother or sister to the one I caught before. <laughs> Might have to perform some surgery to get my hook back too by the look of it. But uh, yes, thank you. Much like your brother or sister, thank you for coming to play. Alright. There you go, there's the first one that had an unfortunate carp donger accident. And there, whoop, come back here. Here is the second one. Absolutely identical. <laughs> All right, so yeah. And my Jan Juck still looks pretty good, so I'll just chuck that back out there and hopefully catch a triplet. <laughs> I've caught two fish on the other rod. This one had a tiny nibble earlier, but that's it. So I'm just going to pull it up and check the bait. I was going to say, or that I'm not snagged, but I got it off. Uh, oh. I had two Janjucks on there. I've got about a quarter of both left. 
something's been munching on it. I'll get some fresh worms on and hopefully catch a fish on this as well. And there's a larger model cruising down the middle of the river out there. <laughs> I'll put a bit more of a bend in the rod than the couple I've caught and they'll cause me a few issues trying to land if I hook one that big, but I'm up for the challenge. <laughs> Bring it on. <laughs> there's another one over there. Whoa, those ducks scared the crap out of me. <laughs> I think I scared the crap out of them too. <laughs> There we go, another hungry fish, he's sitting there, he's just, he looks about the size of the other ones, he's just sucking crap off the top, just over there, about a metre and a half out from where my bait is. Here we go, I lost sight of him, but I think he's found the bait, take it properly. Got it, whoa, okay, he's a little bit bigger. <laughs> Oh, I lost him. Oh, bugger. <laughs> he was he was at least twice the size of uh, the last couple I caught. Oh, you bugger. Oh, well. <laughs> Janjuck worms are a hit today. He made a bit of a mess of my gap in the weeds there, that bigger fish, but it's still there. I seem to have hit the middle of it again, so let's just wait for a fish to come back and figure out where my bells went. Whoop, something's having to go at this one. I've moved the bait on this one in closer because it was getting barely any attention compared to that one. And something, about five minutes after I've moved it, something's come along and had a decent nibble. So I've just picked the rod up, see if I can get a hold of it. Something's pulling on this one. Oh, both rods getting bites. <laughs> I've got this one. This one will have to just wait in the holder for a sec. Although I think he might be on there as well, looking at the bend in that rod, unless it's snagged. It's not moving. Now this, this one's a little bit bigger than the first two I caught. Uh, I'm going to have to get down there and see if I can make this net work because I don't think my line will hold. Oof. I can just reach, I'll tell you what, he's going to have to work with me. Come on mate, cooperate in your demise. Oof. I am absolutely high sticking the hell out of this rod. Come on, a little bit more. I think I got him. Yes, I do. <laughs> I made it work. He's not huge, but I didn't want to lift him up that big of a hill. <laughs> Not by the line, anyway. Now, the other rod that was having some pretty serious bites. I'm going to leave this laying there so he can't get away. And what's happening with this other rod? It's still got a bend. I think it might be snagged. It sure is. I reckon a yabby's taking me down a hole. I'm going to take them bells off so they don't go flying. Oh, goodness. Oh, I just got it back. Well, I've got it unsnagged. It's back out there. Let's see what we've caught here. Well, I know it's a carp. Um, has he unhooked him? No, he is very deeply hooked. So I will be doing some surgery to get my hook back as usual with these bloody carp. But there you go. He is much bigger than the first two I caught. Not huge. I'd put him at about 47, 48 centimetres. Three for the day. Not too bad considering I've had seven fishless trips in a row. Well, I'm very quickly losing light. You can see the sun setting over in that direction. I reckon I've got about another 10, 15 minutes. Don't fall over. 15 minutes maximum until I'll start packing up and heading home. Let's try and get one more, hopefully something other than a carp, but we'll see. Come back, yep, got him. Beautiful, just as I'm starting to run out of time. 
Uh, I think I can lift this one. I won't put too much pressure on the rod, but the line should cope. There we go. And he looks bigger than the first couple, but nowhere near as big as that last one I got. He's pretty on par with the first couple. And once again, he swallowed the hook. Oh well, I'll do some surgery, put him out of his misery, and that'll be the end of my fishing video. So I'm gonna let him dangle on the line there for a second. I'm gonna turn this around and say, well, I'm back to fishing instead of, um, what? Well, I'm back to catching instead of fishing. <laughs> uh, four carp. I was hoping for something other than the carp, but carp will do to get me back on the board. Hopefully you enjoyed watching. See you next time. I've just finished filming an outro to a video where I caught four carp. And I've just cut them all open and thrown them down here and back into the water to sink. To feed wildlife just like what's cruising along here. Just as I was packing up my stuff and my rods, there's a water rat coming along. No doubt he's smelt those carp. He's come from the other side of the river all the way across and now he's coming over here. He's hot on the scent. Look, look, you can see him smelling. He'll duck down and find one of those carp and he'll take it home to feed his family. I've seen it happen right in front of my eyes before. Oh, he's in front of me here now. <laughs>